the good sir knight. Super awesome. <laughs> Fire to avoid horrors under the AO. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. Wicked, wicked. Good sir knight with the <laughs> juice box. <laughs> he doesn't get a real gun, don't tell him. What? So, this is officially Fire Team Arboreal Horror. So, two members officially active with several other in the United section. So, today we're going to do a review on something I've been waiting for quite some time. It is the nipple grenades. I mean, the Matrix Fo Eagle Force multi purpose grenade shell CNC 40 millimeter. You're welcome. They just come with red nipples. So, these grenades are quite interesting because they differ drastically from all the other grenades. And the other grenades, of course, I'm referring to the shower shell type, which I have here. And that's not how you do it. The video's ruined, <laughs> dick. <laughs> so this is the shower shell type. The sh <sighs> shower shell type grenade. As you can tell, I do this live without any rehearsal. And this holds 120 BBs on the side chambers, and gas goes in the center nozzle. There, pretty straightforward. Now these grenades take pretty much forever to load because you gotta load each BB via speed loader, all 120, 10 per chamber, 12 chambers. Tracking, excellent. So, go away. With that taken care of, this type of grenade actually works in the exact opposite fashion. The center is hollowed out to load full of BBs, and the gas loads in through here. There's a little open on the side vents. They're all connected, so the gas loads into the outside. And when you fire it, the single plug at the bottom pulls backwards and lets all the gas flow in from the backside in one shot. So of course it's rounded out throughout, so all the gas loads in from the different angles at equal force and pushes out forward whatever's inside. Or if it's empty, you can load pretty much a little rocket or a nerf rocket into the front of your grenade launcher and launch that and destroy bunkers and all the good stuff. So, that being said, this one is currently loaded with nothing but a cap and some gas because we are going to get a feel for the report of the grenade. The report meaning noise for those who aren't aware. So it's a really short grenade. This is the short type. They do make a longer type that should hold technically twice as much. So we load this one in. And being that we're only going to be firing a cap, we will refer to it officially as busting a cap. And hence, to bust a cap, you must fire your weapon canted to the side. And it'll sound something like this. Which is really, really, really loud compared to the other one. Now, bear in mind, this particular grenade was loaded with maybe about this much gas. Like, absolutely nothing compared to what you normally load it with. Additionally, we are using the HFC-134. Whereas, on the field, we're going to be using propane, although this is rated up to CO2. Now, actually, let's um, go ahead and pop this open for you guys real quick, so I can better demonstrate what I was talking about. So it unscrews, like all the other grenades. Eventually. Your insight's invaluable. I just want you to know that. I don't know how i do this review without you. Thank you. <laughs> so as you can see, this is the little cap that holds it closed. It has the three, three pins, as opposed to four, holding everything in place. Let's not lose those. On this side, there you can see. I is that one of those just, you just said. Not said to well, it's a good thing you know where it is, huh? Cause you, you know, you got free hands. Don't let anything else fall out of there. So as you can see, we got the four gas chambers here. Not a reference to anything to do with Germany. And then you have the center cap here, where all the BBs load through. I can see you through it. Looking snazzy, Susie, and uh, Jack back there, looking good. So yeah, all the gas sits in here and it all shoots through the bottom through that little cap mentioned earlier. So that cap is what holds this closed. And as you can see, there's a little gas valve from there. Loads in from the back here. And that's all there is to it. Did you hear my little metal piece so we can continue the review? I said I was going to edit it, but I don't feel like it. So, so, in there. so as for the exact millimeter of these ball bearings, they look like, I don't know, let's say four millimeters. Rough estimate, they're probably not. So yeah, you just load that back in, everything stays in place, and you don't break anything. So, we now know what the internals of the grenade look like. We know that the grenade is loud as all hell when you fire it. And they, each grenade comes with 10 of those little caps that I fired off into the abyss. Ugh. So, with that taken care of, go and move this. Find abyss cap. Or just grab a new one. Probably just grab a new one. Oh, there it is. So. The other thing that was not covered is exactly how many BBs does this hold? Well, the good news is we're going to find out today. Going to learn today. Going to learn today. Going to learn. 
Edumacations. All right, so. If you'd be so kind, just do a little recap. Juicebox here is going to demonstrate his fantastic mathematical skills. First, you just, what is really nice is that the speed loader nonsense is just kind of like pour BBs into this hole. That's all there is to it. It's easy to put too much, so. It's easy to put too much, so be ready to pop a few out. As you can see, there's a little lip where the cap sits in, and we have that set up perfectly for that. One second. Ah. Boy, juice box, I sure am having a problem getting it in the hole. I never have that problem. Too small? So, as you can see, our nipple grenade is capped. No, there's a little bit of shake because it could probably hold a single extra BB, but how many does it hold? No, no it's just a speed loader, right? What? I said it was a gun. I mean, it looks like a gun. By California law, you would go to jail forever. So, we pop out our red cap because we now know that it seals, and we're going to figure out how many BBs we have. Jesus, Fox, how many BBs is that? Too many. It's never enough. The answer is there's never enough DACA. You get the green skins and they go, Oi, lot me more DACA. So we're going to basically, counterproductive to the whole speed loader argument we just used, we're going to load the BBs individually. One, two, three, four, five, six, off to a good start. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. This is hard. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. I feel and like probably fit one we more. could fit one more. So, we now know it holds 50 BBs. Actually, that is an extra BB. 50 BBs plus the cap. What do you mean? Uh, this is why we're going to bust the cap on you. Plus a cap. Somewhere. Yeah, we... Oh, yeah, there. Okay. Plus cap. Close. Sits perfectly. Now, a lot of people did complain that the cap doesn't hold very well and that the BBs spill out. I want you to know, you, fellow, on evike.com, that you're a liar. You're a dirty liar. I don't know what plugs you're using. So, yeah, there we go. Holds 50 BBs. So... We can us estimate that given the larger shell, we would hold about 100 BBs, all quick loaded, quick gassed, and easy to fire. Now, we'll be firing this grenade into Juice Box's chest to make sure that the BBs hurt. Later, not in the apartment, because but there'll be a second part to this video, because, yeah, these are fancy. Oh, look, it has a little eagle for its markings. So yes, I'll edit that part in. As soon as we finish up the game, we'll go fire this off on the field, and then we'll give you our concluding thoughts. Is that the balls or the? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Someone. Oh. Three, two, one, go! 
Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Wow, juice box. That sure was fun at the airsoft field today. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Because we're going to do a split in the middle. Yes, and these grenades were really fantastic. Make sure we edit out which one we actually used. Okay? <laughs> if we upload this without editing, we're going to look like a bunch of jackasses. <laughs> Don't we already? I like to think there's a divide between uh, the jackassery and me. Is that a racist joke? How is it? How? The divide, you're white, I'm black, I got it. No, yeah, there's a Nile that runs through Egypt. Apparently you're, actually, you're, you, get the, you get the Nile joke. <laughs> All right, you probably grew up, with the, you didn't grow up in Egypt, did you? Charlatan! Juice box on the Good Sir Night Show. So guess how I got the name of Juicebox?